Hey guys, Dakar here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on Wednesday, the pilot. Season 1 episode 1, draw the intro and get straight into it. Here we go. Here she is. La Queen. La, La Princess. I'm not sure whose twisted idea it was to put hundreds of adolescents in underfunded schools. She always speaks the truth. <laughs> what? I want names. <laughs> well, I guess she knows who they are now. Plagued by visions. They come on without warning. You feel like electroshock therapy, but without the satisfying afterburn. <laughs> satisfying afterburn. <laughs> do what I do best. She's gonna punish them. The only person who gets to torture my brother is me. There she is. That's my girl. <laughs> oh my Jesus. You best swim, my guy. <laughs> the little twitch smile. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Nevermore Academy. Ooh, this looks good. Jenna Ortega, there she is. Gwendolyn as well. Christina Ricci. See, this is the thing, like, I grew up as Christina Ricci being my Wednesday. And I'm worried that I'm not going to get like sucked into the whole Wednesday aspect because it's a new Wednesday. But I've been told that I'll easily love her. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Also, I did have brown contact lenses, guys, but they didn't arrive. So I'm stuck with stuck with the baby blues. You guys are making me nauseous. I mean, Not same, to be honest. <laughs> Not in a good way. There is a good way. Great guy. Yeah, they're just like you and me. Until they rip your throat out. Her eyes are so scary. She's not blinked. Was that a growl? Or is that just the music? Okay. I'm gonna put my drink over it in case I spill it. Oh dear me. Guess it's not got on well with that outcast. So we're at the school. How old's Catherine supposed to be? Well, supposed to be. Just how old is she? IRL. Because she looks incredible. Did you hear that, my little storm cloud? You're an excellent ass. <laughs> we'll see if she survives the first session. <laughs> My little storm cloud. Don't you always hope your parents call you that? Should we go meet your new roommate? Yes, please. It's so vivid. <laughs> She's like, uh, colour. Howdy, Rumi. Wednesday. This is Enid Sinclair. Are you feeling okay? She looks so familiar. Wednesday always looks half dead. Enid? Please take Wednesday to the registrar's office to pick it up along with a copy of her schedule. <laughs> Skips out. <laughs> Wednesday's gonna hate it. That bunch of knuckleheads are furs, aka werewolves, like me. Ow, ooh, ow. There wasn't much online about you. Oh, you know, you should really get on Insta, Snapchat, and TikTok. I find social media to be a soul sucking void of meaningless affirmation. Same. <laughs> Maybe I am Wednesday. Look at you, my little death trap. <laughs> death trap. I'm living for these nicknames. We'll call you Mix on me. No touch. That was a hover. Complicated relationship there with the parents. She's supposedly got no heart, but her, her eyes are welling up. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. 
Well, this guy's dead. Where's the rest of them? Well... Holy! Don't approve any more campfire permits for the foreseeable future. What do you want me to tell the press? You know they're going to be swarming like mosquitoes in July. Yeah, she, she can hardly see. It's raining that heavy. He's got a hat on. Never more. I just can't prove it yet. So until I can... <laughs> Bless her. She's... It's literally in her eyes. She's like... Sorry about the mud. Yay! I trust Enid has given you the old never more welcome. She's been smothering me with hospitality. <laughs> smothering? Her choice of words. I love it. That means keep your claws to yourself and no smothering people in their sleep. Are we clear? <laughs> Crystal. I love that her roommates, like, they're like polar opposites of each other. Are they going to grow to love each other, though? That is the question. If you whined less and practice more, you wouldn't suck. Seriously, coach, when am I going to get some real competition? Anyone else want to challenge me? Wednesday. Oh, yeah, Wednesday is going to absolutely own this. <laughs> that looks sick. <gasps> oh, she wins. Your face finally got that splash of color it's so desperately needed. She's fuming. I never thought it was possible to be an outcast in a school full of outcasts. But it looks like you're going to give me a run for my money. Uh-oh. 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 The nurse said you don't have a concussion, but you probably have a pretty nasty bump. So this guy's going to be the love interest, isn't he? Last time we met, I was about two feet shorter, 40 pounds heavier. What happened? Puberty, I guess. I meant what happened the last time we met. She doesn't remember him. We were 10. And we were bored. Decided to play hide and seek. I had the inspired idea to hide in her casket. And I got stuck as it was headed to the crematorium. You hit the big red stop button and saved me from being flame broiled, so. She's already winning me over, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's the little micro expressions that she does. Nailing it. Surrender. Mother and father sent you to spy on me, didn't Oh, the top of his hand looks so gross. Our first order of business is to escape this teenage purgatory. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Yes, I have a plan. And it begins now. Like a plan to get out. She doesn't want to be in the school at all. Given your history, I'm sure you're intent on running away. I'm here to prevent that from happening. Oh, there's more to her, 100%. When someone bullies your brother, your response is to dump piranha in the pool. You know the old saying, never bring a knife to a sword fight. <laughs> Unless it's concealed. I that she didn't even tell him. By the way, you are going to be in a crash. FYI. Holy crap. Do you that was mint. Habit of scaring the hell out of people? It's more of a hobby. Find someone else to drive you. Interesting. Maybe that's the love interest, actually. I mean, I'm assuming there will be one. My dad owns Pilgrim World. You're calling stupid. If the buckled shoe fits. I mean, they all deserve that, let's be honest. Utter douches. Don't tell me Gomez Adams is your father. Um... That man belongs behind bars for murder. I'm guessing the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Gomez is wanted for murder? I mean, he's not exactly hiding, is he? Well, it looks like an accident. Oh, this is the this is the crash she saw. Broke his neck. Not too bad. Not too bad. Holy. 
definitely broke his neck. I like it. He's nosing in his dad's files. It's a bit risky. Everyone's listening to the music. How the hell did you get that oversized violin out the window? <laughs> I had an extra hand. Whoa. <laughs> it looks so cool. Fave. What happens then? I become a lone wolf. Sounds perfect. I, I mean, I agree. <laughs> Haven't you ever cried? Are you a bug that too? I took my pet scorpion Nero out for his afternoon stroll when we were ambushed. A pet scorpion. <laughs> Literally. Two of them held me down and made me watch. No. It's a savage. So I vow to never do it again. I wish I could say that. A decryer is no more. I'm just never going to cry again. Some orders from a hand. This isn't weird at all. <laughs> that was so good. It's so good. <laughs> Are you still willing to help me escape? Well, after what happened with the weather vane today, I figured they'd have you in solitaire. Now I'm in. And he agrees. In charge. Consider it a freebie. Why? Because I wish I was going with you. Oh, okay. He's miserable at two. You see that sad, lonely woman over there? She needs a pathetic validation more than I do. And just like that, gone. Gone forever. Now my train leaves in an hour. We're burning moonlight. Uh, right, right. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, Winston. Winston, we can lose him in the crowd. They got no better to do themselves. Uh-oh. What do you want? Why are you following me? I don't have time to explain, but you're in danger. You're the one who's in danger. What are you doing? Saving everyone from you. I have to kill you. What? The gargoyle. That was you? Rowan. What the hell's that? Holy. So his mum saw her and warned her son of Wednesday because apparently she's going to destroy everything. As much as it pains me to admit, you were right, Mother. I think I'm going to love it here. <laughs> yes! The little smile as well. That was so good. That was genuinely so good. I was, like I said, I was nervous going into it because I am so used to having the Wednesday Adams that I'm used to. But I stand corrected. She did an incredible job. And she's nailing like the mannerisms and like the personality trait, the style, the look. She is nailing it. Like there's no denying it. She's done an absolutely incredible job. And I do love how it's shot as well. Like I love the contrast of all like the bright colours. And then the Adams family, whenever they're on, everything's a lot darker. Uh, yeah, I love it a lot. It It's giving me like Cushing Daisy vibes meets, <laughs> meets the old school Adams family. And a bit like Edward Scissorhands, you know? I like it a lot. I'm, I'm into it. 
so no doubt i will be watching the rest of this but i genuinely hope you guys enjoyed my reaction okay what else did we find out in this one i'm rubbish with names as well guys you know this so if i get names wrong i apologize but we had enid enid's the roommate and she's full of color she's a wolf but can't wolf out is that right um and she's feeling like the pressure of like her family and the school to like embrace her wolf side and wolf out full moons etc uh, but she's just not there yet and we don't know why i think did she say her, her mum was what, like a late bloomer or something so i'm sure she will turn it might just take a bit longer than others the character that christina ricci plays in this i found it intriguing honestly i feel like she's there's going to be more to her unless they just bring her in for the fact that she is christina Ricci. but my gut saying it's probably going to be more than that so maybe we'll see her a little bit more uh but it was only brief really within this uh gwendolyn what a bloody legend she is i uh, love to see it love the style with the really white blonde hair red lipstick like the suits that she was wearing she looked incredible she looked amazing uh, and she's watching wednesday with a close eye so i'm assuming she's going to be a pest for wednesday like every time wednesday wants to do anything she's just going to be there hovering uh but again we'll wait and see there there was a therapist that was working alongside her as well uh and she didn't really get anywhere with her did she she just went out the window and that was that uh, so whether we see her again i don't know the thing that i'm wondering is if there's going to be a, a love interest because wednesday isn't someone that would typically have a relationship or anything she likes to be on her own uh, so maybe they won't go down that route but they are hinting at it a little bit so the guy in the coffee shop whose name i can't remember right now uh but he was definitely into wednesday and i think it was more so the fact that she was willing to just be herself and if she wanted to go she would do whatever it takes to go and he can relate to that because he doesn't want to be in that town i'd imagine they'll be spending more time together trying to leave but at the end of this episode wednesday said i think i'm gonna like it here so maybe she's not even gonna want to go after all that anyway and then the other guy uh, Xavier I forget what type of person he I mean he's in Nevermore so he's got to be some kind of supernatural being or have gifts of some kind but I just don't know what it is I can't really remember he was doing a lot of artistry and being very emo and brooder I was into it so I think that he's showing interest in Wednesday so maybe that could potentially be the loving maybe we'll get a triangle there i don't know the morticia and wednesday scene when she was dropping her off at nevermore i felt was really strong you can you can feel uh the the family struggle that they have there was a lot of tension there it was like morticia loved wednesday a lot and wednesday was just pushing her away it seemed as though Morticia's made some mistakes in Wednesday's life and Wednesday's not going to let her forget that. So yeah, the, the tension was definitely high. Uh, so I would like to see more of them together. I mean, she's ringing up and checking in on her. Like you can tell that she cares for Wednesday, but Wednesday's just not, just not feeling it. She doesn't want to sort of deepen the mother-daughter bond she's just not interested there i love the nicknames that her dad has for her like my little storm cloud uh viper scorpion um there were so many but obviously we find out like nero her, well, she had a pet scorpion and viper is the character that she wrote about in her novel that's apparently really dark i bet it is as well uh, but yeah I, I, do you know what i'm loving it i am loving it a lot happened uh they were it felt like a a longer episode i was like just under an hour so yeah it's like a it was a longer episode i didn't realize how long the, the episodes were in this but 
because I was so like into it, it didn't feel like too long, too lengthy or anything like that. I was vibing, I was vibes in. Someone that loved uh, the Adams Family and the films and just growing up. I mean, I was always called Wednesday when I was little. Uh, so I think that's why I was very like skeptical going into this, but I loved it and I cannot wait to watch more of it as well. I'm very, very excited. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up, guys, because it really helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. Subscribe as well, if you could be so kind, but as always, there's no pressure here. And yeah, I truly hope to see you all again soon for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.